dear friend this is my tutorial 15 in the Gaussian so in this Gaussian I'm going to tell you how to do solvation energy calculation using Gaussian 09 windows or Gaussian 16 software okay so this is the uh, defined method last video I made it for PCM model this is a, a solvation model based on density that is called SMD okay this is another method this is also very useful and also very accurate compared to the PCM model okay you can this is the gentle keyword for the uh, SMD models so you can use SERF equal to SMD solvent equal to generic comma read okay this is the solvent keyword so this is the actually four amino benzyl decade I'm going to do SMD model solvation calculation for this so I will tell you how to prepare input file for this one in order to do solvation energy calculation So this is the this is the important uh, SMD keyword for your uh, solvation energy calculation. So you can see here this is EPS means that the electron dielectric constant of the system. EPS means the refractive index. This is hydrogen bond acidity uh, alpha, uh, hydrogen bond basicity beta, and the surface tension at the interface is uh, gamma. So carbon aromaticity is pi. This is electronegativity electronegative allogeneity is psi so this is the important parameter in order to get to do the SMD type uh, solvation energy calculation so I will tell you where to get how to get this energies uh, further okay first now we have to optimize our system so this is the four amino benzyl decade optimization folder so I will show you the input file for optimization first so open with notepad plus 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 do you use always notepad plus 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 this, this is very useful so this is the input file for uh, geometry optimization of this 4 amino benzyl ligate this is the 4 amino benzyl ligate name so I have written here the memory this is very important 6 MW means 6 million words this is NPRO shared I mentioned too if you are using supercomputer the memory and NPRO shared may change so you can do based on your computer configuration if you are using your personal PC just put to the 6 million words this is enough then this is the root section of the Gaussian input file so this is the theory B3 LYP these are the default uh, parameters we need to mention then uh, we need to give the opt frequency opt means optimization frequency means frequency calculation so first it will do the optimization then it will do the frequency calculation once uh, they found the exact forces then they will do the frequency calculation so this is the name of the system for amino benzyl decade this is uh, uh, charge this is, this is the spin multiplicity these are the Cartesian coordinate of the system okay so these are the atom present in the molecule this is the carbon nitrogen oxygen nitrogen then you put to zero also okay then 631 G star um, basis it then you put a four stars then means you end up the input file after completion of input file just you give some space here enter and then it will give space and save it then you can uh, submit this calculation for geometry optimization frequency calculation okay after completion of this calculation you will get output file so this is the actually for amino benzyl ligate output file i will show you using uh, gas view can copy if you want to open this uh, path so go to file open so if you paste here you will go to uh, will you get the corresponding folder here just click it for a minimum channel you get minus one dot out is the optimization for document okay dot out file so this is the optimized uh, system for the four amino benzyl decade okay so in order to perform your uh, calculation you need to save this optimized coordinate from the output file okay mm, go to here save just 
just make one folder just to save it so this is the optimized coordinate of the four amino bench certificate okay so then in the output file if you see we, know, we want to see our energy so where you have to do after after optimization one paragraph you will get that paragraph possess the gas phase energy of this four amino bench certificate okay i will show you that one So this is a uh, place the starting of uh, second uh, calculation that is frequency calculation before this uh, tag you will see one paragraph okay this is the that paragraph here you can see hf hf is the 400 is the basic um, gas phase energy of the 4 amino benzaldehyde so later we will compare this energy with our solvation energy okay So here, I, using that optimized Cartesian coordinate, I have done that two solvent calculation. One is from uh, presence of water, another one is bromobenzene. Okay. So now I will tell you how to prepare input file for water. Okay. So I will show you the water input file. So this is uh, basically similar to your optimization input file. So here the keyword only is slightly changed. Okay. So this is the name of the system, and this is the basically memory and uh, end shared course of your computer. Mm, this theory B3 LOP we will use. Then you can use this the default uh, parameter. Then you will see SCRF equal to SMD solvent uh, medium based on uh, solvent model based on the de density that is called SMD. Mm, this is solvent then you can put e cult and put generic generic comma read okay this is the keyword for your smd type solvation calculation okay then you can type your uh, four amino benzaldehyde name okay in presence of solvent you can type then only you will understand uh, what calculation you are doing then you have put the charge then multiplicity so that's all then you have to use this the optimized cartesian coordinates coordinate of uh, for amino benzaldehyde then you have to add your new uh, space then you add your uh, your uh, uh, atom presence in the molecule then zero then basis set four star then you give four then you give two spaces okay four stars this is end of the cartesian coordinate uh, this one then you can give two space then you have to give your SMD parameters okay these are the SMD parameter I will tell you where to get this uh, parameters I will share the document also how to use this one you can also follow this video and you can look that document you can uh, get a variety of solvent uh, parameters okay so I will tell you how to get this value okay so then So actually this is that parameter I have downloaded from the online so you can also just you click uh, copy paste into the mini set uh, solvent descriptor database you will get this paper okay you can also use it I will also upload this one for you you can use it so here we are going to see use water okay so you can also read it so I order the things I told na n alpha beta gamma uh, epsilon and uh, psi uh, pi and psi parameter everything they mentioned you can also read this paper you will understand how to do the smd calculation now i will tell you how to take the parameters for smd calculation so we are going to take water parameters so this is the parameters for water okay so first is epsilon that that is eps is dielectric constant this is the e uh, epsilon dielectric constant so i mentioned 78.355 i mentioned here okay then e, eps inf 
that means refractive index of the water molecule okay so here uh, you can see n okay this is the n value is the refractive index you need to square up this so copy go to calculator paste you need to square up you will get 1.77635584 this is the refractive index value okay i have see this is the value is there okay then h bound acidity h bound basicity this alpha beta gamma okay so this three value you will see so here you can see alpha beta gamma always zero only for water molecule okay then i did not mention here alpha beta gamma water molecule zero 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 and also the carbon aromaticity also zero point zero and the electronegative allogeneity also 0.0. There is no value on the pi and psi also. Okay, that means only the true value only present for water molecule. That is EPS and EPS INF. Okay, these two value we have to add. Okay, then uh, finally you give enter. Okay, then you save it. This one you do your uh, calculation. You will get the salvation energy. Okay. Now I will tell you the bromobenzene solvation calculation. Okay, so I use two types of calculation: water and bromobenzene. So this is the bromobenzene input file for SMD solvation. So this is rather similar to what I told earlier. This is okay. We will see this one. Okay, so this is the parameter here. We can see the bromobenzene. Okay, so we have got okay. This is the bromo benzene SMD parameter. Okay, so here you see bromo benzene. First, you need to add epsilon. So that means a dielectric uh, constant. So here you see 5.3954. I had it here 5.3954. This is the EPS. Then you have to add refractive indexes. That means uh, EPS INF. So this is the parameter for bromobenzene EPS. So you need to square this one. Paste into the calculator. Just you can do it square x square. Then you will get your this uh, EPS INF parameter okay 2.4326609 okay this is the this parameter okay then uh, you have to get your that alpha beta gamma pi under psi value okay I will show you this is one so then you can see alpha is 0, 0.0 okay then beta is 0 0.09 okay this hydrogen bond basicity under the surface tension at interface is gamma okay so 50.72 okay then carbon aromaticity is the uh, pi okay 0 0.857 okay then electronic electronegative allogenicity 0 0.143 okay these are the parameter for bromobenzene solvation if you want to do any other uh, solvent so is there all the value maximum solvent they given the parameter just you can use it which solvent you prefer okay that's all then you can submit this calculation using your supercomputer or personal pc it will finish very shortly if you are using small molecule if you are using larger molecule it will take a slightly higher time okay so this is the input file for SMD calculation so you can also carefully do you have to give space after completion of this input file so you need to give two spaces in between that basis set these parameters okay then save it you submit this calculation you will get your solvation uh, energy so I will show you the output files so after submission you will get output file this is the output file Okay, I will show you the um, 
that the input parameters for a PCM model. Okay, so you can see here what are the values you are given now. The sol for solvent it will show here generic EPS, EPS every all the what are the value given in that uh, input file that we will write here. Okay, this is the our uh, solvent parameters. So energies where to find means so so before population analysis you see SEF density before this you will see SEF done or E or B3 LVP so this is the all solvation energy for minus uh, 400 point 9388 this is the solvated energy okay so you can also compare with this with the output gas phase calculation uh, energy okay so this is the gas phase calculation energy okay so you can also fi find this value into that paragraph the end of the paragraph you will also find uh, that hf energy so uh, you can also use this one it's better to use this energy okay maybe more these two energy same only you are uh, always use this one okay so if, if you compare means you will see this is 922 is there this is 9388 is there so that means this is slightly stabilized compared to the gas phase calculation okay so if you are doing any free energy calculation or delta h or delta e you can use this solvation energy calculation if you if you want to do the in the presence of solvent if you don't want solvent you can do directly gas phase calculation using the gas phase energy okay that's all So if you like my content, please uh, subscribe and like and watch and comment and share to your friends and also please click the bell icon on future videos. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Enjoy.